Hey everybody and welcome to the bullshit party! And in this one we'll be taking a look at Saints Row 2022. Is it as bad as people say or is it a legitimately good game? In this video we'll be answering that question, but before we get to that I wanted to take a couple of minutes to explain my relationship with the series. Let me take you back to the mid 2000s. As a lifelong GTA fan I've known about the Saints Row series ever since the first game. I didn't have an Xbox back then and since the first game was a 360 exclusive I had to pass on playing it, but I do remember watching gameplay videos and uh, making my own comparisons between the game and the then last GTA game, GTA San Andreas, that I've played for several thousand hours up to that point. Fast forward to 2008 when I got my first Microsoft console. 2008 also marked the release of GTA 4, one of the most groundbreaking games up to that point. Don't get me wrong, GTA 4 was good, but it felt a bit empty after the sandbox San Andreas offered. I remember my first introduction to Saints Row 2 was via a trailer that essentially made fun of GTA 4's attempt to capture real world events, like in game events like uh, going bowling, going on dates, watching TV, etc. Saints Row looked different. It looked far removed from the realism of GTA 4. It looked like the developer was making a fun game where the goal was for the player to feel like a king. I got the game later that year when it came out and I was in love with it, at first sight. To this day Saints Row 2 is one of my favorite gaming experiences of all time. Fast forward a couple of years later to Saints Row 3. In my eyes the game had a lot to live up to and even though I don't believe it reached the height of the second game, Saints Row 3 is an excellent game in its own right. And for anyone who doesn't believe me, google Saints Row Penetrator. I replayed Saints Row 3 fairly recently a couple of years ago on my Switch and had a blast. I'll cover Saints Row 4 and Get Out of Hell in one go in one sentence since one is basically a standalone DLC for the other. They're decent games but nothing special, I'm sort of tired of superheroes at this point. Agents of Mayhem is not a Saints Row game but it sort of takes place in the same universe so I'll cover it. I uh, actually completely skipped that one so I have nothing to say about it other than it looks like garbage. And speaking of garbage, fast forward to 2022 when the first trailer for the reboot of Saints Row got released. It looked bad. I mean, really bad. But uh, that doesn't mean that's a, gonna be a bad game, does it? Well, let's, uh, let's talk about it. First of all, and I know this is a personal preference, but I hated all the lead male voices. It was a far cry from Troy Baker, who I actually kinda hate, or Mr. Uncharted himself, Nolan North. The game starts with the character creation screen just to have an incredibly, incredibly frustrating tutorial section and then have another character customization screen. A bit weird, but uh, okay. My first gameplay gripe comes with the fact that the game has a difficulty setting. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Before we can even start the game, you need to agree to this unskippable Eula thing. And keep in mind this footage is sped up four times. Now this definitely gets me excited for the game. I admit. It has been a minute since I played any of the older games, but I don't remember there being a difficulty setting. No, no, actually as I'm editing the video there is a difficulty setting, so completely disregard what I just said. On top of that, one of the best things about the Saints Row games up to this point was they didn't have aim assist. This means that you had to actually get good at the game in order to, well, you know, get good at the game. Saints Row 2022, however, has this horrible sticky semi-auto-aim, semi-aim assist feature turned on that makes killing guys a breeze, which is uh, actually not as fun as it sounds. For me, that took a lot of the fun out of the gunfights, and running gun gameplay is a major component in this game. Just not fun. Another big part of the game is driving. You will be traveling the desert a lot. Now... Driving has always been kind of janky and broken in Sage games, but uh, nothing like this. Here, every single car that I've tried uh, up to this point turns like a tank, basically. The only way to make corners is to use this new drifting mechanic with the X button on the PlayStation 5 controller. That just feels, well, janky is probably the best way to describe it. Another driving mechanic that I really hate is the ability to ram other cars off the road. Just no, just just no. The graphics are actually nothing to write home about either. Keep in mind that I spend the majority of my gaming time staring at a currently 9 year old game in GTA 5. That looks, in my opinion, miles better than anything Saints 2022 has to offer. I admit, 
For this video, I played the game for about four and a half hours. I haven't finished the story, I couldn't. Playing this game felt legitimately like doing homework. And, uh, well, I hate homework. The city feels lifeless, and the whole game feels soulless. One of my favorite activities was the insurance fraud activity back from the older Saints Row games. And that one I can't find anywhere on the map. Maybe it's gone, maybe I haven't unlocked it yet, but in any case, I'm pointing it out. Other activities that I actually found on the map and played were incredibly boring and not fun. And oh yes, very broken. The last two cities, both Stillwater and Stillport, felt lively and great. This, on the other hand, doesn't. And I don't even remember the name of the city at this point. Kind of a shame. And on top of the aforementioned complaints, the game is filled, and I do mean filled, with bugs. Just one after the other, sometimes you will see several bugs at a time. And actually, here is an example for something that I would consider to be a bug, or just horrible game design. And, uh, hey, remember games back in the PS2 era didn't allow your character to walk into walls and your character just naturally stopped the walking animation as soon as you reached a wall? Well... Hello, 2005. I mean, seriously, guys, this is a game that came out this year. This is coming out the same year as the new God of War is gonna come out. And I do understand there is a probably a small difference in a budget, but... It, it just looks ridiculous in my eyes. And I haven't even touched on the walkifying of the game. And I'm not even. Everybody else seems to be going crazy about this. So go watch another video if you want to hear how woke the new Saints game is. As I said before, I could only stomach the game for about four and a half hours. And so this is my opinion of it so far. And for those of you who will say, well... You only reviewed the game based on a few hours of gameplay and not the whole experience. To you, I say this. If the game will get better and actually fun at some point, is it too much to ask for it to start that way? And for those of you who are still here and actually want me to say it out loud, I don't think the game is actually any good. At least in its current state. Maybe it's gonna get better with updates, but I don't see it happening. It's uh, It kind of has this cyberpunk feel, it's essentially broken from the inside out, so I don't think we're gonna be seeing a good game from Saints Row 2022, but time will tell. Maybe I'm gonna be wrong, maybe in a couple of months from now, a year from now, I'm gonna make a retraction video saying that I was wrong about the game and it's actually amazing now, but I just don't see it happening. In any case, this is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you so much to everybody that watched. Please let me know in the comment section down below what do you think of the game? Do you like it? Hate it? Are you indifferent to it? Have you played it? Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel for more content like this and also GTA focused content, as you guys know. And I'll catch you all in the next one.